the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 236, 2 Chronicles 14 to 17. Jehoshaphat's Religious Reformation. Unlike Asa, who departed from God and depended on Aram, in his last days of rule, Jehoshaphat, his son, went in the way of David and carried out internal reform. First point. The writer of Chronicles claims that the first ten years of peace during the reign of the third king of South Judah, Asa, was due to Asa's obedience toward God. North Israel lasted for 200 years, and all throughout these years, the 19 kings all went in the way of Jeroboam. As for South Judah, 20 kings reigned, and out of these kings, some of them went in the way of David. They were Asa, Jehoshaphat, Joash, Hezekiah, and Josiah. These five kings went in the way of David and thus gave joy to God. In South Judah, Abijah took over Rehoboam, and then next was Asa. Asa did well during the first ten years as he listened to God. The reason South Judah saw peace for ten years was because Asa obeyed God's commands. The first thing Asa did was to carry out religious reformation. He got rid of the idols in South Judah and forbid idol worship. He made everyone follow in a kingdom of priests. The second thing he did was to build walls around South Judah. The third thing he did was to make South Judah into a stable military protected zone. Because of this, the first ten years during Asa's reign was peaceful. All the people got rid of the idols and turned to God, but Asa was faced with distress. Cushi attacked South Judah with their immense army, and South Judah was seriously outnumbered. Asa prayed to God for help. Wars belong to God. Whether one is strong or weak, they are equal in the eyes of God. Asa asked God for help, and thus was able to deliver his country. Second point. Chronicles records that due to Asa's religious reformation, many of the people in North Israel came to Asa. To Asa, who returned from war against Cushi with the victory, God sent the prophet Azariah. God told Asa to go further with his religious reformation. Therefore, Asa went on to carry out a second round of religious reformation. When Asa carried out the second religious reformation, there were some people from those Israel who heard this and came to South Judah. After winning against Cushi, Asa offered a burnt offering to God. He also promised to serve only God. He furthermore vowed that he would get rid of idols in all of South Judah. But not long after that, Asa's mother started to worship an idol. Therefore, Asa took his mother down from her position. As such, Asa was a man at one with God's heart. But one thing that was unfortunate for Asa was that he left some of the temples of the idols. Third point. Chronicles records that God provided national security for South Judah due to Asa's religious reformation. In the Book of Kings, Asa's first and second reformation is tied together as one. But in Chronicles, they were recorded separately. Chronicles closely records how Asa listened to God's prophet and obeyed in the religious reformation. 
When Aisa obeyed, God provided South Judah with national security. When God gave Aisa victory against Cush, Aisa collected the goods left behind by his father, as well as the goods taken from Cush and offered them all to God. Fourth point. Chronicles records that Asa was unable to succeed during the later years of his reign due to the alliance made with Aram and because he did not listen to the words of God's prophet. It would have been great if Asa's heart remained the same towards God, but his heart started to shift away. Then, Baasha from North Israel attacked South Judah. In order to attack, Baasha joined the forces with Aram and built Lama. When Baasha tried to attack South Judah, Asa received help from Aram in order to block the attack. Aram was with North Israel to start with, but then moved over to South Judah. Although Asa had experienced the winning war with God's help, this time round, he asked for help from Aram and offered the goods from the Jerusalem temple as a tribute. Because of this, God sent the prophet Hanani to rebuke Asa. God sent Shimea to Rehoboam, Ido to Abijah, and Azariah and Hanani to Asa. God also sent Micaiah to Jehoshaphat. When Asa was rebuked for asking for help from Aram, he did not repent. He moreover locked the prophet in prison. He had changed from his old ways and went as far as to lock up God's prophet in prison. Asa therefore became ill to the point of death. But even then, Asa did not turn to God. After 41 years as king, Asa died. Fifth point, the fourth king of South Judah, Jehoshaphat, carried out a thorough religious reformation and got rid of all the idols in South Judah. The third king of South Judah, Asa, died, and his son, Jehoshaphat, took over. Jehoshaphat went in the way of David. He was one of the five kings of South Judah who did so. He got rid of the idols, including the ones his father failed to get rid of. He taught the laws to the people. He went as far as to make an education team for God's laws. God therefore gave him national security and abundance, just as God had promised in Leviticus. During the reign of Jehoshaphat, South Judah was feared by its surrounding countries. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.